Welcome in everybody. It is June's Potent Prosperity Day. A Potent Prosperity Day is the third day after a new moon. And our new moon was exceptionally potent in June because on new moon, Saturn, the Lord of Karma, the Keeper of Time, and the King of Patience went retrograde. Therefore, on today's Potent Prosperity call, and on almost all Potent Prosperity calls, we do money work. But today, we got to take a look at karma. we got to take a look at what's going on in our lives. Whatever is your story, whether it is because of your job, whether it is your business, whether it is your career, whatever is going on with money, first, before you write it down, I want you to tell me if there is a history of it within the family. Like something similar happened to your father or your mother or something similar happened to your uncle. Like I remember on our Saturn retrograde new moon call, I think, I think, I forget his name, I'm so sorry, mentioned that his business suddenly got stuck. You know, suddenness in anything is always karmic. Suddenly this relationship got over. Suddenly the business stopped. Suddenly you had to move city. Suddenly you were diagnosed with an unwellness. Suddenness is always a karmic indication. Suddenly you were on your way to getting a promotion and somebody else got it. So this suddenly something happening with money. Just check within your family. Is what your situation is, is that a exact replica of what somebody in the family went through. Like Nilima says, money struggles, betrayal, money stuck, support stuck. It's a father pattern. Got it? Anybody else seeing any similarity within the family? And you know this situation can be identical or the experience can be identical. Maybe your father had a business but you are in a job and you suddenly lost it, you know, COVID and COVID, a lot of us had to let go of how we were working. So it need not be that you had a business and you lost it, but the experience is the same, that suddenly it went away. Suddenly there was betrayal. Suddenly there was cheating. Suddenly you were taken aback and never fully recovered from it and are still trying to recover from it. So like the Pali says, something similar happened with my father, suddenly the business got affected and crashed. Got it? So we have two similarities. Everybody else, what is your money story? We've got one, not one, we've got two, we've got the Pali and Nilima who are mimicking the story of their fathers. Everybody else, if you are not mimicking a family story, what is your money story right now? What's on your mind around money? And Nilesh also agrees, and that it is a father pattern. Got it? Everybody else, what is your money story? I also want us to be very aware of our money story because karma is not just what is happening and what is the lesson and what is the justice and balance being played out here, but also thought, feeling, and behavior. Karma is also measured in our intention. So depending on what our money story is, first and foremost, we are going to make an intention for today. This intention will keep getting energized by the moon till 3rd of July. Till full moon, this will keep getting energized. It will be good for us to remember it as well. So I hope everybody has got their sheet of paper and pen because we're going to write it down. If you are completely stuck, you're going to have a different intention. If you are not stuck but would like more you're going to have a different intention. Everybody is not going to have the intention of a goal of money. Because if you're stuck, before that goal can manifest, you have to get unstuck. 
first you have to flow first you have to feel powerful empowered uplifted strong confident enough to work towards that goal so your intention if you are jammed stuck sudden loss has taken place is that you've got to get unstuck so your commitment and you're going to make this commitment to all of us and we're all going to be energizing this commitment just by being present in the same group all of us on the call today including those of us who will catch it on the replay your presence energizes everything so if you're making an intention your presence energizes it and just as your presence will energize everybody's intention everybody's presence energizes yours so let us first make a very clear cut intention let me take a look as to what some of our stories are like mia says something similar happened with my parents money came but they have to work really hard to get money but expenses were more jenny says unable to earn a proper salary like mother grand mother and mom 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 has already given a decree for you can leave now diana says getting nervous to be really rich asking for more so there's a conflict here i'm asking for more but i'm also really scared i'm going to get it so diana the way that you will formulate your intention is going to be a little different then there is 24532 please tell me what is your name is it preeta and third story with the father having struggles with money heidi says only something similar with my aunt or most my mother by always having money but working hard for it so heidi tell me what would be so you're following this and it's not a bad thing because it also means that every time you work you know you'll get money so tell me or oh, this is a money story what would you like upgraded enhanced or changed in this heidi so huraya said stop coming and which family member story is this huraya Palavi says money struggles in covid earnings and receiving stopped hugely post that i have to work hard to earn sometimes not knowing where the money will come from consistency of clients with and money is an issue my father was absent since childhood didn't meet him post me being 7 he passed away between 45 to 47 and in my 45th year he was not able to be on his own monetarily so the end is what i know so basically again a father story with struggles and i'll quickly give you all the reason why it's primarily a father's story because money is still masculine in our era and has been masculine for for many a century now men went to work men brought home the bread men brought home the bacon men brought home the dough men bring home the money therefore the way that our fathers have been around money impact how we are around money very much my father was very sensible with money he knew expenditures expenses pay out of bills as well as investments and therefore both my sister and i we exhibit this sensibility with money i will not say that we were very rich we were very comfortable we had money we have money and but the attitude towards money both my sister and i we picked it up from our father and and therefore for all fathers who did make money keep money share money invest money all all blessings from them to us all gratitude from us to them let's take a look at some more stories because we have to yet do our first part of the call which is intention which will set off your karma and pallavi's story is also so interesting because on the one hand father struggled on the other hand mother struggled but earned very well and so did i till covid i'm going to i'm going to digress here for a moment my lovely so pallavi are you the first born
firstborn will imitate their mother's story till about perimenopause, 45, 50, and will then start imitating their father's story post that. Secondborn will do the opposite. We first imitate their father's story as well as father's behavior, as well as father's character, and then will start imitating their mothers. Like you will notice, Pallavi, as you are growing older, firstborn, check for yourself, that as you're growing older, that you are becoming more and more like your father in body type, in health, in wealth, in attitude. Just check and confirm to me. James says, I'm finally ready to break through the grass ceiling that has been a story for generations. And Jane, when you say generations, is it both mother and father? Vandana says, having major problem with staff, similar problems at home. It's not directly linked to money, but indirectly. I have to support the family financially. As my father has retired, so this is an obstacle. Right? Everything is directly related, Vandana. Having trouble with staff is also a karmic problem. Not problem, is also a karmic situation. It's also a karmic story, especially if there's a history like this. Everybody has some trouble sometimes. Somewhere you will not get along with one staff member. But if it's continuously taking place, meaning it's becoming, it's becoming a habit, it's becoming chronic, then we're looking at a karmic story. Ah, thank you. 24532, you are Yamini, I will remember. Shah says, my, my product is not getting processed. Suddenly problem in Canada, immigration, stuck in India. Okay. Diana says, my father was giving every day to my brother as he was addicted to drugs, even money from his pension. And therefore, there was financial enabling. And financial enabling is not a good word. Financial enabling is the same as codependency. They are not healthy words. Financial enabling is when you will keep giving money in the hope that the person will change. This money becomes toxic because in financial enabling, we do not empower the other one to grow their own wings because they know they can always count on the friend, on the bank, on the government, on the parent. Financial enabling disempowers both the giver as well as the receiver. So, Diana, check. Are you financially enabling somebody right now in your life? And I also want to tell you this about financial enabling my people. Financial enabling is not the same as providing. In providing, there is a reciprocal give and take. When you provide, your children are growing, your wife is managing the house, you are entertaining socially, there is a balance. In financial enabling, there is no balance. There is only the hope and the expectation that somehow if my child, if my friend, if my companion, if my boyfriend, if my, if my partner is, is okay right now, they will learn a lesson and change how they are behaving. It never works. I also want to say this about financial enabling. You often don't realize you are financially enabling. But when you have a sense of it's going, it's going, it's going. I'm not getting any returns. It's not helping really. It's not really changing things. Let that be a red flag. Samrata says useless entanglement, stress, lawsuits, anger, sabotage with family. Same with father. Got it. And Heidi would like to change up. I like working, but would be great with more ease and flow. Got it. When I've asked a question and you all have posted something and I've scrolled downwards and you've given me an answer, please do me the courtesy of combining it with what you have mentioned before. Hurea, I don't know what this mother over there means right now. Luz says, wealthy family, but always arguments about, about money. 
But what is your money story, Luz? Are you also fighting and arguing for money all the time? And again, if you've mentioned your story in past, put it together in one post. Shah says, suddenly brother-in-laws withdraw money from mother-in-law's money secretly. What does that have to do with you, Shah? Got it, Pallavi. Yeah, she says, my husband's money in business is always stuck. Like from the beginning, like he started business and it started getting stuck. He has not been getting it on time. It's only me who earns regularly at home. I I don't know if anybody else experienced this at my home. It could be uh, it could be little distant. It could be a grandparent with a parent. It could be an uncle. And Diana says, my father was also very wise. He taught us to have no debt, always pay your bills, save some money for the future. Fantastic. And Diana, you will see that you're doing the same thing, are you not? And Jane says, yes, both parents, glass ceilings for generations. And mother also taught financial independence. Superb. Leah says, I'm both firstborn and secondborn. My mother's second child, my father's first child. Ooh. Okay. So, so your story, not really very complex, it's just that. One day you'll be, it'll be the father's story, one day it'll be the mother's story. Like, like it won't be more mother's story at one point, more father's story at one point. So Leah, what is your story? Did I pick it up somewhere else? Heidi says no siblings, so am I firstborn? You could be if your mother had no abortion or miscarriage before that, because that is also counted. Yeah, the story for the youngest in the family, Nia, is that is that first you will play out your your mother's story, and then I'm so sorry, your father's story, and then as you grow older, you'll start playing out your mother's story. Diana says I'm third born, and for third born again, if you have two more younger siblings, five more younger siblings. Every, for every sibling, the percentage starts shifting more towards the mother as you start growing older. Strongest for the first two, the father as you grow older, and then starts becoming the mother's story as you grow. And Yami says, I've had to leave one job for being overlooked and got a new job, and the potential there is to make better money, but I've either waited around too long with no income or worked too hard for not enough money for the hours spent at work. Ah, so this is so this is struggling to get what is your due. Yes, Yamini? Jasvinder, yes, we would have also loved to do it, but potent prosperity happens not according to our schedule. And we have to do it in the morning because I have another call in the evening. So thank you very much for adjusting once in a while. We do try to keep all our calls towards the evening, towards the end of office hours. Please catch the replay. Alison says father had resentment to pay mother for house and raising children and therefore poor, poor providing, right? And used money to manipulate everyone, made good money, build businesses from nothing. Therefore, you could be using money to buy friendships. You could be using money to buy loyalty. Because that, while you don't think of it as manipulation, it is a form of manipulation and a control. So somewhere over here, Alison, you may have a resistance to money because you understand that money is a form of control. And a lot of families, especially business families, have some sort of control built in with the money, right? Like, if you don't do this, if you're not part of the business, I can't leave it to you in my will. Or if you're not being part of the business, you'll get a much lesser percentage of the business. Nothing to do with you being one of my children, but your contribution to the business then gets measured. So check, Alison, if there is a resistance to money because you know that it has brought, it has brought grief and unhappiness because nobody, nobody who's controlled can ever be happy. Yamini says, my father was the main provider when I was a little girl, but then cut off support to my mother 
for my brother. Okay, so suddenly money went away. So the story is that he cut it off, but the experience is that suddenly money went away and your mother didn't get her due. Your brother also didn't get his due and that's your story as well. Not getting your due. And Jashi says, does unfertility and stuck money are connected very much? Because money's empowerment, while it requires a strong root chakra, also requires a healthy sacral chakra. We create opportunities, we create money in our orange chakra. The ability to work towards money, the ability to work in the opportunities that come, that's come that comes to us through our root. So sexuality, sensuality, the ability and confidence to be who you are, whatever your gender is, to be to feel safe and good looking, to feel safe and gorgeous, to feel safe and handsome. This is definitely connected to money because it tells us how your orange creator chakra is working. So it is very much connected. And Guri says, third born, difficulties in earning from the time that Saturn Dasha had started from 2008, difficulties in earning money, money is not coming. So difficulties in earning money and money is not coming are two separate things, Guri. Difficulty and struggle, but money is coming. Arjun says, two days back, I completed a video project. But after this, not heard from the person who employed me. At times, I do not get paid for the work I do. And is this your mother's story? She did a lot, but your father would refuse to give her money. Is this your father's story? He worked very hard, but he was overlooked for promotions. His payments, his salary would get delayed. There will be a repetition somewhere. Sangeeta says, I recently got to know that I'm the third child. I never knew my mom lost her second profit. Jennifer says, third born, youngest, only one in the family with messed up finances. I'm on pension, want to be financially independent, but it doesn't happen. How was your mother? Because now you will be creating quite a bit of your mother's story. Because the younger we get, we get more like the mother. The younger we get, meaning the younger born birth. So the younger, younger, younger we get, the more we imitate our mothers, which is why younger bonds are usually, usually, very rarely have I seen an exception to this, but younger bonds are always more good looking as well. First bonds can be attractive, but younger bonds, they're just more beautiful because they get the feminine energy more and more. So your younger sibling will be more good looking, your youngest sibling will be even more good looking. Chatter's arguments regarding mom-in-law's money as the brother-in-law wants lion's share, full access. Husband doesn't want to confront him. But what does this mean for you, Shang? Pallavi says, I did not meet my father after I was seven. Don't know his body type or health. You know it because you will have it. Whatever is your body type is his. Whatever might be your physical struggles would be his. Oh. So we have two numbers, one is Prima, one is Yamuni. Okay, I'm going to remember. All right. Sangeeta says, recent insight is I'm mimicking my mother a lot, and also you are in the younger. All of a sudden, my spouse is stuck with, struck with poverty consciousness to the extent he behaves exactly how my dad used to behave, and that's fantastic, not because that's what he's doing, but because you recognize the pattern. All karma increases generation to generation. So where your people had certain problems, you will intensify those problems. The true is same for blessings as well. Whatever blessings are there in the family will also be magnified. Karma increases generation to generation. Will you keep this in mind? Therefore, when you show up on a call, any call, and you work on your healing, you are making sure that your future generations do not have to go through the same troubles and struggles like you do. So thank you, everybody, for showing up. And I thank you on behalf of all of your children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, 
and all forthcoming generations. If you're better, they are better, earth is better, everybody is better. Okay, my lovelies, I think I've gotten an idea of the kinds of intentions we would have. Two primary kinds of intentions. One, where you are earning money and would like more. And the other is where you are not earning money. There is stuckness. These are the primary ones. Now, I've used the word money, but like Vandana said, the trouble is that the staff is behaving a certain way. Shah has mentioned fights at home. You will put this down in the second category, which is money stoppage, because fights are not conducive to money. When you fight in a business, your business will suffer. Otherwise, every business would have flourished anyway. Businesses would not have collapsed. Most businesses suffer because there is an infighting. Yes? We all agree with this? So if you're having fighting in your family or your business, this will fall in the second category of intention. Let us make our intentions, my lovelies. Everybody, please have water. Some of y'all have already energized your intention on Saturday's new moon call. You can say the same intention. You can re-energize it with the object you use. Or you can do it again on a sheet of paper right now. This sheet of paper, you will keep writing the same intention. Don't change the intention. Every day till 3rd of July. And on 3rd of July, you will burn the sheet of paper if it is safe to burn. If it is not safe to burn, keep it in one of your diaries. Forget about it. You can also carry the sheet of paper around in your wallet. You can keep the sheet of paper at your altar because it is going to be energized today. The way that you are going to write an intention, the decree way, which means manifestation will be 50% faster. And because you're writing it, that also increases manifesting power. It will be even more powerful. You are going to write it as, I can, and I'm going to put it down in the group. I can, and you're going to write it, whatever it is. I can, like Heidi said, right? her desire is very clear. I want to make more money with more ease. Like I work hard, I have to work hard to make money, is the story. I'd like to make it with more ease. So I can make more money more easily. Because you are, hang on, hang on. Because you are in the first category of intention makers, where I can make more money more easily, you will write a number. This number should not be 100 times more what you have right now. This number can be 10 times more what you have right now. So let us say that you have 10 right now. You will say, I can make 100 more, more easily. Those of you all who are doing a direct money intention, let me know that you have understood this. Say yes. We will see you on the replay, Alison. Thank you for being here for this much time as well. Second intention I'm still to give you. Those who are doing the first intention. Okay, first intention. First intention is only for those who are already receiving money but would like to receive more. This is not for those who are stuck or who are having business losses or who are having arguments at work and at home. The first intention is only for those who would like to increase their money because they're already getting money and would like to have more. 
I can make, mention the amount, more easily. If you are earning 10, you will write, I can make 100 more, more easily. Your intention must always have a CTA. A CTA is a call to action. So not like I can be president of the galaxy. That is not a CTA. That is a dream. That is a desire. That is a goal. It is not the intention of what's going to take place next. Because you don't know how many exams you will have to give to be president of the galaxy. You do not know how many countries you will first have to be Prime Minister of to be the President of the Galaxy. So Vandana says, I can manifest anything I require in my life with ease. And of course, you can use that, but that, that is not your current story. Is it? Look at your current story. We are here to change karma. We are here to enhance the meritus good karma, and we are here to decrease, balance out, let go of the demeritous, not so good karma. Not so good karma shows up in debt, shows up in arguments and fighting, shows up in an inability to maintain your staff or keep them with you, shows up in sudden stoppage of money. And Prima says, but if I write 100 more, that's only for example, Prima. So you just multiply it by 10. Whatever it is, just multiply it by 10. Yes, Jayashree, you will write your money number in place of 100. That is only to understand. When you write it, very important, first section of people, when you've written it, I want you to take a look at it and I want you to tell me what happens when you look at it. Do not mention it on the group yet. Please move away for a couple of moments. Be only with yourself and do this while I do the intention for the second group that is exhibiting a very tight, poor money karma. For y'all, it is as simple as I can heal this stuck karma for my family, my ancestors, and myself easily. Let me give it to you. Tejashree, yes, 10 to 100 is the amount of money. If you have 10, you just multiply it by 10 to make it 100. For the second batch, I can complete this karma for my family and myself more easily. No, Tejashree. The 10 to 100 is your, if you are already earning 10, you multiply it by 10. So if you're earning 30, you will say, I can make 300 more, more easily. If you don't have money file, you will do the second one. If you already have a money flow, you will do the first one. If you are earning money, if you are receiving money, however little it might be, if you are already receiving money, but the flow is on, if you are having problems, people are refusing to pay you, people are ghosting you when it comes to payments, 
people are showing up to say, do this for me, but not talking money, then you will do the second one. Then you are not, you do not have a flow of money happening. If you have money coming in, then it doesn't come in, then it comes in, then it doesn't come in, then it comes in, then it doesn't come in, you are in the second category. Only if you have a consistent flow of money can you do the first intention. Because if anything else is taking place, first you have to get out of this stuckness. You have to get out of this pattern. For those who are already getting some consistent money, not money that's making us happy perhaps, but even then, as long as it's consistent, the flow can be enhanced. For everybody else for whom it's not consistent, your flow first has to be rectified. So do not, even if your head is saying, but I want to do the first intention, don't. It will become a block. You will, in the next two weeks, from today till 3rd of July, you will see the difference your correct intention is making. And Jayashree says, do we add ancestors too? You can. You can. Today I'm taking a look only at family, but of course ancestors are part of our karma as well. Our past lives are also part of our karma. Today I'm just putting it for family because we're going to be doing family clearing. Sanita, both are, both are fine. I can heal Stuck karma, I can complete this karma. Both. Choose either one. And thank you so much for reminding me. And Prima says, should I do the second one to make sure that I clear all blockages? Only if the second one is applicable to you right now. Because, 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 my lovelies, we are going to meet again on 8th of July. 8th of July is a Saturday. And 8th of July is the number eight, which is the number of karma. And Saturday is the number of, is the day of karma. It is Lord Saturn's day. Therefore, we will meet on 8th of July for you to see what has happened from now till then. And then, of course, on 10th, we will meet again for a, for a long, complete and detailed understanding of karma and how it works in our lives. Commit to the work you are doing today because you're putting down that intention. You have to write the same intention every day. Write it three times, five times, eight times till 3rd of July. And then 8th, we will meet again. Everybody's invited. Absolutely, Jane. I think you got it. So if you're, if you're getting that 75 now, or that 1050 now, or that 7500 now, you just make it 100 times more. Excellent. And Arjun says, any chance of absorbing negativity from others' karma while, while chanting? No. Negativity you can absorb. <laughs> you can't take on somebody else's karma release. Karma is a very individual journey. And Diana says, is this first intention related that I'm also conflicted, afraid to start my own business? I'll come to that, Diana, but which category do you fall in? Do you have a consistent flow of money? If not, do the second one. Because the conflict or the fear in starting your own business could be a family program where somebody may have wanted to start a business but couldn't, or started a business and then it collapsed and that memory and program has carried down to you. That, oh gosh, don't do it. You'll end up losing money. It is just so much safer to get a job and earn money. So check, Diana. And for the second, do we write which karma it is or this karma? If you can write which karma it is, write it. Put it down. You're going to burn it on 3rd of July. So Jayashi says, how many times do we write it every day? As many times as you like. Eight times is very good for the second batch. 
Minoti says, my husband's limiting money beliefs are re resulting in a lot of issues in the family. How do I take care of this? By, first of all, realizing, recognizing that they would also be your limiting money beliefs because you cannot have a partner who does not have something similar with you. And Itza says, can I do first intention for myself and second for my dad's business and family income? No. Karma is your individual journey. Cannot be done for anybody else. Most of us try. And of course, you know, we love our family. We want our family to be okay. We want everybody to be happy. But at the same time, it is their journey. Even for our children. If our children have, have become more than 30 years old, you cannot do it for them. More than 28 years old, actually. Yeah, both of these are for the second group, Yamini. Both of those statements that Sangeeta has mentioned, both for the second group, you can choose one. And Nita says, which color pen? Very good question. Very good question. Green or blue? Nilesh, uh, just go to Yamini's post, little, just two posts below y'all, and click on Sangeeta's post. They are both there. And Jeshri says, I can heal this stuck money karma for my family, my ancestors, and myself more easily. Beautiful. Now, both sets of people, when you've looked at this written down, and by the way, I want you to write it the way I have written it. Use the capitals correctly. Capitals are a big part of written word medicine. How to use a capital, how to use a comma, how to use an exclamation mark. So I can dash, dash, dash more easily exclamation mark. Write it like this. When you take a look at how you've written it, what is the reaction? How is it making you feel? First batch has written their own set. Second batch has written their own set. Are you feeling relieved? Are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling worried? Are you feeling angsty? Are you feeling restless? What is coming up? Diana says, my parents were working as teachers. They never had own business, and I feel safe working in a job. So you can see that you may be breaking a paradigm, although, Diana, I will still say this. It is not possible for us to have an experience that is not already present in our lineage. No experience. Whether it's the experience of struggle, whether it's the experience of good fortune, whether it is the experience of love, whether it is the experience of health, wealth, it is not possible that it's not in the family. Therefore, an ancestor, Diana, could have had this desire. An ancestor may have done it as well. And your parents learned that just sticking to a paid job is the safest. Because your desire is also reflected in your lineage. And I always mention this story. And, you know... Uh, Vidya Balan, India's beloved superstar. So Vidya and I were once talking about this thing, about being an actress, about being in the film industry, and how it was the one thing she was always sure of in her life, that I wanted to be in the film industry, I wanted to be an actress, and guess whose desire it was? Her mother's. Her mother always wanted to do something in the modeling film industry, it didn't work out. Her mother also. That entire family has gorgeous women. Her mother also. In her 70s, you won't believe it. She looks incredible. It didn't work out for her mother. It worked out for the daughter. And look at it. The younger daughter, who follows the mother's pattern more. Elder ones follow the father's pattern more. Every generation has louder karma. In one, the desire. 
in the other the fructification and taranji says when i write i feel i am worthy oh very good very good namrata how does it make you feel nisha says anxious neelima says anxiety shivers in the stomach gwen says feeling grateful that i have flow i'm good to hear from you gwen we've missed you not seen you around for a while that i have flow that i can more easily great make it an actionable point flows are also generic but they're also nice it's still a great intention but give us one that you will use from today till 3rd of july so we've got anxiety and we've got we've got also worthiness we've got okay we've got more anxiety than worthiness jay she says my story is the first intention i felt it's easy to reach my goal but when i was writing the second intention in my book my throat is stuck feels choking let me begin clearing let me begin clearing my lovely nia says do we need pebble or crystal no today we are using paper and pen and nilesh's body is staining nilesh you gave the second one all right the importance of your reaction tells you sorry i'm going to say not cough up i'm going to say it again the importance of your reaction is that your reaction is the block now i felt worthy is fantastic it's not a block but unworthiness might be hiding somewhere and stopping you from taking action i felt anxious anxious is the block pain in the body pain in the body is the block and pain in the body i have seen when it comes to money has a lot to do with businesses nilesh do you have a business and heidi says feel more ease by writing namrata has got tingling in her foot tingling is a neutral reaction and paul says my deep breathing and tree suddenly good something opened up nita you will still follow the standardization mentioned over there i can more easily exclamation mark what you've written in the middle will be in regular small and a says and powering and overwhelm both coming together let's wait for it to settle and prima's got a pain in the left arm pain in the left arm means pain in receiving means painful relationship with women means painful mother as well so that's your block pal says suddenly want to cry so you're overwhelmed in something that opened up something opened and it scares you so much to be open that it's overwhelming you pile have water please cry please let it out and arjun says i can complete this relationship karma for myself more easily of course but your relationship karma is also in your family Jaswinder I'm so sorry my girl it's okay when you when you come back to the call you listen to the replay and you do your writing of intention cuz I am going into the clearing set so it's good you are here Jaswinder you will still receive just this little part that you need to do for 3rd of July and then when we meet on the 8th have a listen to the replay everybody I am starting the clearing process the clearing process is a process from venus's decrees because venus's decrees had to do with our lineage it had to do with our elder mothers and fathers across seven generations you are born in the family that is closest to your karma your past life decide your karma that past life karma is matched to an ancestral lineage of which your family is the last representation and then you are born in that family so when we when we are showing up in our families in a family whatever we have we got to say thank you to them whatever we don't have also we got to say thank you for because you all are here you all have a phone you all have access to the internet you all have the opportunity to get on a call that otherwise you would have paid 101 usd and 8001 rupees for there are many blessings in just by being here have water everybody put aside your intention for now your intention book for now
Before I do the family clearing, I am just going to do a generic clearing. Remember, karma is intention, thought, feeling, behavior, even desire is karma. Mental money blocks, you can leave now. Emotional money blocks, you can leave now. Relationship money blocks, you can leave now. Physical money blocks, you can leave now. Spiritual money blocks, you can leave now. Sexual money blocks, you can leave now. Financial 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 money blocks, you can leave now. Mental money blocks, emotional money blocks, physical money blocks, spiritual money blocks, sexual money blocks, financial money blocks, you can all leave now. You can all leave now, 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 you can all leave now. You can all leave now. You can all leave now, 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 you can all leave now. You can all leave now. You can all leave now, 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 you can all leave now. You can all leave now. Have some water. Give yourself just one minute to process before I begin the family clearing. Whatever is coming up, please know it is leaving. So don't get stuck in the story. Allow it to go and see what happens with this next set. Mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, sexual, financial, money blocks coming down seven generations of seven elder mothers and seven elder fathers. On my mother's side, your mother's side, my father's side, your father's side, you can all heal and leave now. 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 On behalf of my mother, my father, my past life, my ancestors, the world and all of humanity, I heal and clear. Heal and clear. Heal and clear. All of these mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, sexual, financial, money blocks. Let it go, 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 clearing, 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 removing, clearing, removing, clearing, removing, clearing, removing, clearing, removing, clearing. Removing, clearing, have water people. Removing, clearing, removing, clearing. Removing, 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 removing. Clearing, 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 removing, clearing. Removing, clearing, removing, removing. Clearing, removing, clearing, clearing. Removing, clearing, removing. Clearing, removing, clearing. Removing, clearing, removing, removing, removing. Removing, 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 removing. Removing, 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 removing. Removing, removing, removing. On behalf of your family, your ancestors, and your past life, can you heal and complete this karma now? Yes. On behalf of your family, your ancestors, your past life, will you heal and complete this karma now? Yes. On behalf of your family, ancestors, and past life, can you remove your attachments to this heavy, stuck karma now? Yes. On behalf of of your family, ancestors, and past lives, will you remove your attachment to this heavy stuff karma now? Yes. On behalf of your family, ancestors, past lives, the world, and all of humanity, can you now begin to receive the light, the gold, the learning, the forgiveness, the understandings to completely complete this karma now? Yes. 
receiving, 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 receiving the guidance, receiving the insights, receiving the messages, receiving the courage, receiving the strength, receiving the ability to change and complete, change and complete, change and complete, change and complete, change and complete now. Receiving, 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 receiving the goal, receiving the light, receiving, 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 receiving the energizing of your intention. Please take a look at your intention. Keep looking at it till I request you to move away. Just keep looking at it. Energizing your intention. The gold, the light. 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 Energizing your intentions with grace, with Lord Saturn's blessings, with Lord Gantati's blessings, with the blessings of all our planets, with the blessings of all our ancestors, with permission from our family intentions, energized. You may continue to look at your intentions for a couple more minutes, but start having water. Maintain one minute of silence. Superb. Please take your intention sheet and hold it at your heart chakra. Inhale from your heart chakra. Exhale through the top of your crown. Inhale through the heart chakra. Exhale from the soles of your feet. You're holding your intention paper or book at your heart chakra. Inhale from your heart chakra. Exhale from your belly button. Inhale from your heart chakra. Exhale from the back of your spine of your heart chakra. So inhaling from the front of your heart chakra and exhaling from the back in your spine. We're going to do this just two more times. Inhale from the front of your heart chakra. You're holding the sheet of paper or book there. Exhale from behind. One more time, please. Inhale from the front. Exhale from behind. Reversing the breath, inhale from behind where your heart chakra is on your spine, exhale to the front of your heart chakra. Inhale from behind, exhale from the front. One last time at your own pace, inhale from behind. Exhale from the front and then gently put it down. Your intention has been energized. Together as a group, we are going to amplify, magnify, expand, 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 expand the power of our intentions together 
because together, you and I, we are going to write that intention seven more times so you are done for today. The same intention. Write it seven more times. Keep in mind, I can more easily in capitals, exclamation mark at the end of easily. Write it down seven more times. While you are doing this, I'm going to answer some really good questions, which is that if the second one is giving me physical reaction, do I resonate with that more? Although my story is the first one and my husband is the second one. Jeshri, are you first born? If you are the firstborn, the men that you are with will play out your father dynamic. Therefore, Jeshri, while you are earning money, your husband could be revealing one of the stories in your life from your family. People, can you confirm? That audio is on. Thank you, Dipali. There is one more fantastic question. Guri, please tell me how you are doing because you had breathing difficulties, which means your chest was not okay. Doreen says, what about pain in your hamstrings? Pain in your hamstrings usually has to do with the mother's story. It also has to do with fear of the authority figure. If your mother was an authority figure, there is fear around her. If your father was the authority figure, there is fear around him. Hamstrings and tight hamstrings are when we control our emotions a lot. When we are constantly holding back. When we are constantly trying to portray something that we are not. Like we are angry, but we are smiling and say it's okay when it's really not okay. It gives rise to a lot of pain in the body. Because now the emotion has gotten suppressed and compressed. Yami says, if I want to break the pattern from my mother's situation, the clearing we did was for this. Nilesh says he does not have a business, although there is pain in the body, because I've seen this, that people with uh, people in businesses develop pain a little faster. But there are several ideas regarding business. Well, Nilesh, you keep your job is to not work on those ideas. Your job is to keep clearing your pain, because as you clear a block, everything else will start falling into place. We never fight a block. Because all blocks, all stuckness have a karmic input. Leah's got chills and a bit excited. How are you now? And Prima, check. How is the pain? A, how, what emotion has it settled into? And then she says, so I will do the first intention itself then, because that's my story as of now. Fantastic. And Diana says, I changed the number in a higher amount. I feel good and with hope. Fantastic. And Neetu, you got back in. Because we have a limit of 100, and it was 100. But awesome. So somebody else has dropped and you came in. You're a manifesto. What was your question again, Neetu? Oh, it was only that it got disconnected. Awesome. 
Guri says, still a little restless, feeling heaviness. Anybody else feeling heavy? Shall I do a clearing on heaviness? And Arjuna asked, even my parents don't understand the recording, would it still benefit if they hear it? Absolutely. You can play it on mute at night and just leave it. It's fine. They don't have to do the work. And interesting that parents do a work where we become the parents, you know, because parents tell children what to do, right? And when we become parents to our parents, well, the results often do not play out to our advantage. So keep that in mind. And Arjun also says, heart feels better to the chanting. I could see the vision of a person below the poverty line with an angry face. Arjun, since you are highly intuitive, check. Is this an ancestor you saw? Is this someone from your family? Is this a past life? Let me do one. Prima's pain is almost gone. There's a tightness. Let me do one for heavy tightness. And let us see what happens. Heavy tightness, you can leave now, you can leave now, you can leave now, you can leave now. Tight heaviness, you can leave now, you can leave now, you can leave now, you can leave now. Painful tight heaviness, you can leave now, you can leave now, you can leave now. Removing, removing, removing. People, uh, in these clearings, you would need to have slightly extra water because I need the hydration. So begin, please. Tight, heavy, pain. Tight, heavy, painfulness. Painful, tight, heaviness. Removing, removing, removing. Removing, 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 Removing with temple bells. Removing, removing. Removing, removing, removing. Temple bells. Aura cleansing taking place for everybody on the call. Removing, removing, removing. 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 Doing one. Removing, removing, removing. Removing, removing, removing. Removing, removing. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. Have water, everybody. And with me, gently start to clap. Very gently clap. So not like that. Just gently clapping. Continuing the removing of heaviness, of pain, of tightness. Removing, removing, removing. Removing, 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 removing. Removing, 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 have water. White clean, white clear. White clean, white clear, 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 taking everybody's smoky, dark, grayish, Foggy energy is being revealed and released, bundling it all up into a gigantic paper bag, gigantic, like a cosmic paper bag, and with blessings from Lord Gantati, Lord Hanumanji, sending it off into the blazing furnace of Surya Dej to be transmuted and purified, transmuted and purified, transmuted and purified, transmuted and purified, transmuted and purified. Transmuted and purified, transmuted and purified. One minute of silence as you process and integrate the shift. Interlock your fingers, stretch your arms above your head, stretch, stretch, stretch from your sides, turn to your left, turn to your right, bring your palms down, tell me how you're doing. While you write down 
how you are on the chat. I want to tell you all that while we use words for, for karma, we use words like transformation, uh, we use words for clearing, we use words for healing, as in karma healing, karma clearing, karma transmutations, karma transformations, there is only one word that is applicable to karma, and that is completion. More on this on 8th and definitely on the 10th. Right now, tell me how you all are. How are you feeling? Take a look at your intention. Does it feel like, oh, wow, it's almost done. It's going to be done easily. It's going to happen easily. And I just want a few of you all to confirm that before I go into the last part of our clearing for today. Jeshri, how's your throat now? And Arjun says, I feel someone in the present life, someone in my, in my neighborhood. Got it. So just say, with love, you can leave now. 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 Guri says, Feeling full in my chest, heaviness in the breathing, more reduced. Good. Doreen says lighter. My goal is doable. And Jane's rising up and up. And Heidi has had such wonderful start. Feeling great. Superb. Superb. The une uneasiness has also reduced. It says feeling grounded. Barbara's feeling very light. Neetu is also smiling, happy, peaceful, but yawn. Excellent. Yawning is very good. Yawning, coughing. Wanting to go to the washroom, wanting to close your eyes, wanting to go to sleep, all fantastic. They're all releases off. Can somebody tell me what they're releases off? What do you think is being released? Gwen's also having a lot of release, and my goal is easy, superb. Anju says, my name area. What is name area? Yami says, lighter, smiling, burping. And Jen says, stuck energy. Yes, they're all signs of stuck energy. And Namrata, in a way, your answer is also correct. Because how do you know your karma? The fastest way to know your present karma is how stuck you feel. We have already given the intention. And that itself would have started us unstucking. But let me do one final round around stuckness. The more stuck you feel, the more the same story is repeating itself bigger and bigger, which is just a sign of stuckness. That tells you the demeritous karma pending. The more light you feel, that tells you the meritous good karma present in your life. Already, because quite a few of us, right? For the most part, we have said lighter, smiling, love, happy, peaceful, grounded, and we do have some dull feelings, although the tightness has eased and there is some, some hurting, Anju says. Anju, just have water. The clearing is still continuing and will continue for at least 24 more hours. I'm just going to do a random group check. Like Pal says, want to close my eyes? Close your eyes. Close your eyes, be relaxed, lie down, pass out, all good. Yes, Neetu is also a sign of negativity. The more stuck you are, the more negative you are. The more negative you are, the more stuck you are, the more demeritous karma needs to be completed. I'm just going to do a check on what is our group stuckness. Our group stuckness is showing as About 56%. This is not bad, my lovely. It is not 80%. It's about 56%. So now I'm going to do a clearing for stuckness. Stuckness, another word for stuckness. Can anybody give me another word for stuckness? Superb, Jen. Blocked. When you're stuck, you're blocked. Blockages, stagnant, stuck, blocked. I am starting the next round 
our final round of clearing on this. We will do some more work on 8th, and then we will get together on the 10th as well. Gentle reminder, my darlings, your intentions need to be done every day till 3rd of July. 3rd of July, you will either burn the sheet or you will put it somewhere and forget about it. If it's not safe for you to burn, or you will carry it in your wallet or your handbag. 56% stuck energies for us as a group being brought down to zero. 50, 45, 40, 32, 29, 27, 22, 29, 27, 27, 29, 27, 29, 27, 29, 29, 23, 20, 19, 15, 14, 12, 11, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, zero. One more time. Fifty six percent of stuckness blockages for us as a group being brought down to zero. Fifty six, fifty four, fifty two, fifty, forty nine, forty seven, forty three, forty two, thirty eight, thirty seven, thirty three, twenty eight, twenty four, twenty two, twenty. 15, 12, 11, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. One more time. 56% of our group person, of our group stuckness and blockages being brought down to zero. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero. Doing it twice for stuckness and blockages. 56, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Doing it one last time. 56% stuckness and blockages for us as a group being brought down to zero. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0. Have water, everybody. Tell me how y'all are doing. And Arjun asked about clearing for any entities in the energy body or body, and this will clear that as well. Even entities are karmic, you know. Black magic is karmic. Curses are karmic. Jane says, clear and fine. Pile, how are you doing? Arjun, uh, what's your sense of being stifled? Everybody else who mentioned some pain in the arm, there was hurt in the arm, there was, there was a funny feeling in the head. How are you doing now? More light energy in the room. And Arjun, that definitely means that an entity has left. Leah has gotten chills. Anita says, lots of ease. Anju says, pain reduced completely. Woohoo! Superb, superb, superb. You know, pain is also, is also karmic. I mean, what is not? Everything is. And more of this on 8th when we meet again. And we'll take a look at whatever it is that's showing up. But because we have done a potent prosperity money call, we will also look at money again on the 8th. So everybody, definitely keep doing your work. On 3rd of July, which is full moon, in case we do a call, and we may do a call, please do come back again. A full moon call is normally a call where we bring in a lot of light because that is a day of maximum light. 
and therefore that light can also shine on what is going on in our lives. On 30th of June, Neptune is going retrograde, and Neptune is about the unconscious, where you might think that, you know, I, I didn't even realize I had hidden so much anger or hidden so much rage or hidden so much happiness, because whatever we have suppressed, repressed, compressed, depressed, in Neptune retrograde, it comes to our consciousness. So, we may meet again on the 3rd, but we are definitely meeting again on 8th, because 8th, as a Saturday, is a day of another powerful karma completion time. And then 10th, we will meet, and in that week of 10th, we will meet three times again. Lots of work we're going to do on karma, my darlings. It is a little, uh, it is a, it is our blessing this year that we can work on quite a bit of karma. So we will. I thank you so much for showing up for yourself and also for each other. Keep your intentions going. Speak to you soon again. Keep me posted. Ask me anything, even once this call is over on the group itself. Big love, big hug, keep drinking water, chase the light. Namaste from India.